Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs that sell. Be sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because I have five more bonus niches for you guys. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple of different things. I want to show you how you can use a cool new app on Canva and I also want to show uh, a nice unique product to you guys. So right now I am on Etsy. This is my listing here. And so this is kind of unique. This is skateboard wall art. So um, we've probably seen regular wall art. You've got your obviously your metal prints, your canvas prints, your posters. Um, but this one is a little bit cool because it's actually skateboard decks that they print on. And so they use that as wall art. And so that is a pretty cool one. I'll show you that. And then I also wanted to show you how I created the designs that went on this using one of Canva's new AI apps um, to get that cool bright color. So anyways, this is my listing here. Um, you can see I created the backgrounds here for the mock-up. We've got the size details here on the listing. Another just regular mock-up. I've got my key features page where I put that it's made out of seven layers of Canadian maple wood. This is made in the United States. It contains all necessary accessories for hanging and it's a unique gift for all occasions. Great um, for, you know, pretty much housewarming gifts, wedding gifts, or just something that you can buy yourself for home decor. And so that's always great. Another mock-up, I have my review card another mock-up, and then again, my brand and card. And so those are the things that I include in my listing here. I do offer free shipping with this, so I just incorporate that kind of into the price. And I do go ahead and put it on sale. So this one is marked down, I think, 25% or 30%. I, it doesn't actually show here what the percentage is. But so that's my listing. And so I'm going to show you guys how you can make this. So first thing I'm going to do is actually jump over to Print KK. So that is where I found these skateboards. And so they have a lot of really cool products. I do incorporate a lot of different print providers with my Etsy shop because I find that some print providers do really well with one product or they're cheaper on one product or they have some unique product that another one doesn't. So right now I have Print KK, I have Printful, I have Printify, I have Guten and I have JetPrint. All of those are integrated with my Etsy shop and I have different products kind of from each of them that I sell because they all have different unique things. I really do like Print KK a lot because they have a lot of unique products that I haven't necessarily seen anywhere else. So I can go to products here and they've got all the basic categories. They also have made in the United States. So I can click that and they do have products that are just made in the United States. And so right here, you'll see some of the basic ones, shirts, there's some lampshades, some mugs. They have full skateboards for sale too. So if you wanted to actually sell a skateboard, you could. There's some furniture. Here are the wall art prints. So this is the one I showed you that had the three side by side. There's also just the individual single one that you could use canvases. I've showed you guys lamps before. So these are all made in the United States. So this is the one that I used in my shop. So here it is. That's perfect. Um, and so this is what we would be designing for. So if I was to just hit uh, start designing, it's going to pull this blank up, blank page up. And what we're going to see is you can design it for each one of these boards individually. So that's the first board, second board, third board. So we're going to have a different picture on each one of these as opposed to one picture that goes across all three. Um, and so this is a very kind of just narrow, obviously, skateboard shape. So when we're making the design, we need it to kind of fit within that general cropped area. It's recommending pixels here, 1,198 by 4,647. So I think I just sort of rounded that up to a slightly higher number when I designed it, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to Canva and we'll kind of show what we can do here. So let me just go ahead and jump over to Canvas homepage. All right, so here I am on Canvas homepage. And what we'll do is we'll create a custom size. I'm going to do 1500 um, by 5050 pixels right there. And we'll hit create new design. All right, so here I have my basic skateboard shape. I'm going to need to create three different designs that I'm going to put in there. 
Now, of course, you can do anything you want, but I did want to show you guys a new app that I found that I thought was really cool. So I'm going to go over to the left hand side here and I'm going to scroll down to apps. Now, I do have this saved under my apps, but of course you can scroll down and start looking through all the apps. There's lots of different ones here, some AI powered ones and whatnot. So these are all fun things that you guys can start exploring and see if you like any of them. Tons of them down here though. Actually, this is the one I wanted to show you right here is Paint Splash in Art. And so I'm pretty sure this is the one I like to use here. And so this is a sort of text to image AI style, but it's going to do it in these kind of bright paint. Um, it's all gonna have the same style, which is really cool. Now, they do give you usually four credits a day. I don't know why it's saying one credit remaining today. I think it's because I did some of it last night. And so since I did some of it last night, um, I guess it hasn't refreshed yet. It's a good way to test it out. And if you like it, then obviously you can pay for more credits. Um, or, I mean, if you're just putting up skateboard art, you can just, you know, do one skateboard a day and you can, I don't know how many skateboards you want to put up on your shop. I think I have maybe eight, nine different listings up there. But if I did this over the course of nine days, I could do it all for free. <laughs> um, but I'm just going to show you really quick how we'll do this. And so what I would type in here would be whatever I want my theme to be. So... You know, you can do tropical themes. I've done it with skulls. I mean, pretty much anything that you can think of, ocean waves, whatever you think might be cool artwork that would look good on the back of a skateboard. Obviously, if it's a skateboard, I'm thinking more graffiti style stuff sometimes or some more punk kind of stuff. I'm probably not thinking like super fine art. Um, but again, it, you can be as creative with this as you want. In the example that I showed you, I did more of like a tropical beach. So I did like um, tropical beach or like, um, and that might've been all I put, tropical beach. Well, let's see what comes up. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit generate and it should create an image for us. It'll take a second here. Okay, so it's gonna put it up here and it's pretty small down here. So you're gonna have to blow this up. So I'm just gonna, Go ahead and click it, drag that corner up and see what we've got. And so what we can see is just different sort of ocean, some flowers, lots of cool stuff there. So let's say I like, you know, you can pick how much, um, how you want to crop it, how much you want to blow it up, but essentially you want to cover this whole area. And so if I keep it here more, I'm going to get more of those flowers. I can really move it over and get sort of a lot of those hibiscus, hibiscus in there. Look, that's a hard one to say. Move it over still, get a little bit more water so I can decide sort of where I think that that might look cool depending on, you know, how I crop it. So let's say I like it here. That's what I'm going to go with. I could then go ahead and just hit add a page and then do it again. Maybe put in a different prompt or put in the same prompt and it'll come up with a slightly different version. Obviously I've run out of credits for today because I used some last night. Refreshes in, what does that say? 24 minutes? Oh, so close, 24 minutes. <laughs> okay, I would refresh in 24 minutes, but I would just put in some more prompts until I had three images that I liked. So I would just do that, put another image here, add another page, put another image here, and I would have all three images that I like. I'm then gonna go ahead and just download these. So for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and put tropical um, skateboard. And I would just say one, and then I would go with tropical skateboard two, tropical skateboard three, and I would go ahead then and download these. So I'm gonna go over to share. Then we'll hit download. Okay, it doesn't need to be a transparent background. Everything is good the way it is. You could always make it a little bit bigger if you wanted it to have like really good quality. So right now I said it was, uh, 1500 by 5,050 pixels. If you want that to be more, you just slide this up. So now if I say 1.25 times, now it's going to increase the pixels there. And so that is how I would go ahead and do this for bigger size items. But let's say I want to keep it maybe right there. I can just go ahead, pick the page that I want. So right now I've got three pages. I just need page one done and then we're just going to go ahead and hit download that'll download it and then what we're going to do is jump right back over to print kk we'll go ahead and put it up and see how this looks okay so back on print kk all i would have to do then would be go to upload here so if i click upload 
That should pull up my downloads. And then from there, I can select my download, hit open. It'll take a second, but it's gonna upload it here. And I would do that for all three images. And then we'll go ahead and put them on the boards. Okay, so it's downloaded this first one that we made. So I can go ahead and click that. And you can see it's putting it right over the skateboard. It fits pretty perfectly, looks sharp, and you can see where it's gonna look in that lineup of the three boards. So next I would go ahead and click the next board. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick another one. I'm just gonna do ones that I did earlier because I couldn't do more for this example. Okay, so here's some of the ones that I had done earlier. So let's go ahead and say maybe more of a beachy one in the middle. So I'm gonna click this one here. And so that looks pretty cool. It's given a little contrast. And then we'll go ahead and do the third one. And maybe the third one, I do more flowers again. And so there you can see, I've got my three boards. They look pretty cool over there. I can get more of a lifestyle view. Okay, so you can see how those would work. And of course you could separate them a little bit too when you hang them. So that all looks pretty cool. From there, we would just go ahead and hit save. And it is going to go ahead and save this to your designs. From there, you would go over to your designs and you could go ahead and publish it to your store. Um, and so it's pretty easy to do this. It looks really cool. Um, Again, you can do this however you want it. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the cool product or the cool new product that I found. And then of course, how to use the app. If you have questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I do read the comments. Thank you so much for all of your kind words. If you have video requests, you can throw those in the comments section below as well. And because you guys were so patient and waited until the end of the video, I do of course have those uh, five bonus niches for you. Okay, so as promised, here are your five bonus niches. And because we did sort of a tropical beach design, I decided to go with sort of beach niches. So number one is resting beach face. Number two, I pee in the ocean. And I have no idea why that one was popular, but it was, <laughs> okay. Number three, what's up beaches? Number four, my job is beach. And number five, nobody likes a shady beach and so again tons of fun designs there you could do these uh, obviously with graphics or you can make them text only they're very funny um, anyways i hope you guys are doing really well and i do hope to see you guys again that's it for today's video if you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos as always keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time